Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy On Demand. And today we're out at a lovely house in the Roswell area. And it's pretty interesting, you know, all the things that we see in these houses. And so this house was probably built in the early 80s. Uh, and they used masonite siding on most of this house, which is basically cardboard. It's seven layers of cardboard, compressed under pressure, makes a board. And as long as you keep it caulked and painted, you'll never have any trouble with it. Uh, and so this house, what's unusual about it is that we looked at the chimney from back here and we thought it was masonite. The way they did this band board design right here to mirror what they did on the rest of the house, it, it's just a poor design. <clears throat> it's going to trap water and it's going to cause rot, which is exactly what's happened in this area. So uh, we would take that out of there. If someone has already replaced all the siding on the chimney with one by six pine. And then on the bottom, for some reason, they put cedar, I guess, so it wouldn't rot. Probably done by the homeowner, to be honest. Um, these folks have lived here maybe for a couple of years. So initially when I talked to him, I said I'd really replace all the siding here. But looking at it, what we'll end up doing is we'll replace three rows on these three sides right here where this band board is and just pull that out of there. We'll install new corner boards down the left and right sides. If you look right here, there's a little hole and I've scared them off now, but one of the little tiny woodpeckers is living in there. And then the bottom plate is rotted out as well. And it's really because the caulk failed. And so on the left side is the worst. We've got 28 rows on this left side that need to be replaced. And you, when you move up the, the line up here, see if I can zoom in there a little bit. There you go, see the black right through there? So it started rotting because the caulk failed and then the woodpeckers got in there and started pecking for bugs. That's what brings them to it. And people don't understand with chimneys like this, if it was masonite siding, you'd wanna replace all of it because the woodpeckers will just come back. Um, we never replace corner trim typically uh, with anything other than back primed pine. The wood that they used here, if they had back primed the siding, I guarantee it when we pull this off, it's raw wood. And when you have raw wood, it's gonna absorb any kind of moisture versus if you back prime it and seal everything with oil-based primer like we do, it'll never rot. And if it does, we'll come back and replace it for free, but we've never had to do that in the 25 years that we've been doing this. So there's just spot repairs to do on this chimney. Um, and I'll walk around the other side. So, you, well, I probably won't have to, but um, you can see right here where they sprayed some foam in here. So there's, uh, I think there's six rows on the front of the chimney. Uh, there's three rows on the right side. So in here, you can kind of see where it's just starting to rot. And what saved this siding is it was hand painted. You can't see it so well here, but if you were to get close up on the siding, you could see all the brush strokes in it. And so right here, we just need to start caulking this stuff. This is soft at the nail heads. The nails don't move on your siding. The siding expands over it. So even though they did a bang up job painting, you can see in here, they just didn't caulk all the nail heads. So if this homeowner can do it himself, but come through this side of the house doesn't get a lot of sun at all. So there's a lot of mold and mildew on this side. But if you hand paint one section of the house at a time, it takes the bite out of the price. Um, we only hand paint houses like this. Very rarely do we spray. The other issue for this house is windows. For our money, we would just spot glaze and repaint these windows. When you replace all the windows in a house like this, especially in Georgia, you start to uh, super insulate the house and the house doesn't breathe as well and you'll create mold, mold conditions in the house. So uh, for, we were just talking about that a lot of kids have juvenile asthma and they outgrow it. They really don't outgrow it. Their bodies just get used to the mold that's in the house. You're in Georgia, people get scared and alarmed whenever they hear the word mold. Uh, it's just all around us. But the house is generally in pretty good shape. Right above this roof line right here, there's six rows of rotted siding, so we just replace them all the way across. You can kind of see it a little bit better right under above my finger right there. And then on the front of the garage, we got three rows of siding. It's the same deal. And then this rotted corner board right here. It's not huge. Most of the siding's in great shape. But this area just stays so wet. They've puttied it and tried to paint it. Uh, but there's nothing you can really do there. And then on the front here, I'm guessing they added this decorative cap when they got ready to sell the house. And the actual upper framing of the garage right here, this two by lumber, was already rotted and they just painted over it. You can see the hole and it goes all the way through. And so they kind of exasperated things by adding this cap because as you can look at it, it has no pitch at all. So all the water, it's cute, it looks good, but all the water is now running behind it where it's rotting out the wood here. Uh, and so what we would end up doing is we would actually cut a beveled piece of pressure treated and lay over the top of each one of these so it'll shed water to the front. Uh, or there may be a way for my brother to pitch this out a little bit so it'll shed. Uh, fortunately, my brother's a master carpenter, so he'll make those decisions on site. Uh, I won't bother going back through the yard. They've got a puppy back here. and uh, I don't know if I can see it here. Let's see. The back of the house is generally in pretty good shape. 
it's just the back of the chimney if we can get there the bottom seven rows at the back of this chimney there you go you can see it right there are rotted and again that looks from the ground it looks like they replaced all the chimney with one by six pine uh, so that's a positive thing. We don't really have to replace the whole chimney. Just rework it a little bit Repaint it caulk it and repaint it and you're done You know we get asked this all the time One of the, the smartest things you can do with a new contractor you're using is use a credit card It's the best way to weed us out the guys that can't process credit cards Means they don't have a banking relationship. They don't have good credit uh, It means they're not reliable. They're not they may not be in business next week. We've been in here for 25 years once you have a relationship, then feel free to pay cash or write a check or whatever you want to do with people. But using your credit card gives you the power of a chargeback, and that's huge right now. You know, you'll call a contractor. He was in business last week. He's out of business this week. These guys, Handy Andy, me, my brother, and our crews, we've been here a long time. We do everything except swimming pools and air conditioning. Just be patient with us. We stay really busy. We're at 770-912-2829. I'm Andy. See you at the next house. Bye for now.